Hello everybody, I'm Thomas, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook to be notified of new videos and to see lots more behind the scenes features with Trackmaster Productions 2016. Thanks for watching! Percy and the Royal Mail Train The mail train is an important train on Sodor. It ensures everyone gets mail right on time. Percy loves delivering the mail at night. He starts his journey from the docks up to Vicarstown Station. The mail is put into post vans, but the rails can't reach small colleges and towns far beyond. Hero also takes the mail to the mainland so everyone can get their letters and parcels before dawn. One night, Percy was resting at Vicarstown Station. He was waiting for Hero when all of a sudden, four strange-looking coaches were backed into the platform. Percy was puzzled. What kind of coaches are those? Look, one of them has got some netting on its side, said Percy. His driver laughed. Percy, that's the Royal Mail Train. It has netting on it, so it doesn't have to stop when picking up mailbags. But how can they deliver the mail without stopping? They can't just throw it out of the car, said Percy. There are special posts alongside the track to hang the mailbags on. At a certain point, a workman pulls a big lever in the car and the net opens. As the train passes the post, the mailbag is caught in the net and sorted in the sorting area, said his driver. Percy was amazed. Just then, a whistle blew and the Royal Mail was ready to depart. Steam billowed and couplers clanked as Percy watched in amazement. He watched it until it was out of sight. Later, Percy puffed back to Tidmouth's sheds. The other engines were getting ready to doze off when, Wake up! I just saw something amazing, said Percy excitedly. It was the Royal Mail Train. Gordon sniffed. Ha, I see the Royal Mail Train every night and it's not even remotely amazing. It's silly. Well, I've heard it's a very important train, said Edward. It's probably not as important as me in my shiny red coat, said James boastfully. Oh, James, you and your paintwork, said Thomas cheekily. Percy backed into his berth and fell asleep, as did the others. But not the Royal Mail Train. It was making its way along the tracks. It sped past lined side apparatuses, grabbing mail with the nets as it travelled through the night. The next morning, Percy was pulling a goods train. He felt happy, but he couldn't stop thinking about the Royal Mail. He popped into Vickerstown Yards and had Rosie shut the trucks. As he was waiting for his next train, he saw the station master and asked him when the Royal Mail train was to stop on Sodor again. The station master went to see the schedule and came back. It's supposed to make one more stop here tonight and then that's it for this week. Percy thanked the station master and pulled away with his passengers. That night, Percy was getting ready to leave with the mail. He puffed through the night, hoping to get to Fitness Town early, but with every stop, it got later and later. Percy was losing hope. He finally puffed in the Vickers Town station, just as the train was leaving. Percy was determined to get a good look at the Royal Mail. He raced through the station and chased after it. He was getting closer and closer as he sped along. He then caught up with the engine and kept his pace with it. Then there was trouble. Percy forgot that the parallel tracks switched into one single track. He sped forward just in time and was in front of the Royal Mail. Suddenly, the 
Royal Mail Train bottling a person's right back and pushed Percy's mail train faster and faster. Then he realized his mistake. The Royal Mail Train couldn't stop and Percy couldn't get out of its way. Poor Percy was out of breath and his wheels hurt. Just then, Percy saw a station ahead. He and the Royal Mail Train were stopped and Percy was relieved, but not for long. After returning home from the mainland, he was in big trouble with Sir Topham Hatt. What were you thinking? Passing through the station without stopping and causing so much trouble with the Royal Mail Train, he said furiously. You, Percy, have broken so many railway rules that I will have to suspend you from pulling the mail train for a while until you learn that you have a job to do and people depend on the mail being delivered on time. I'm sorry, sir, said Percy. I hope you are, and I will choose another engine to pull the mail train for a week, Sir Topham Hatt And that goes for all of you too. This is a railway, not a playground. Percy felt so horrible, he retreated in the shed as Sir Topham Hatt walked away. Hello, I'm Gordon. If you want to watch more videos, click on these links here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Express coming through!